this is the look that I hope Jay Park will marry me in. Like, girl, you looking so pink and vinyled, marry me. And I'll be like, oh, Jay, I can't. It's so sudden. He'd be like, please, girl. And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 저 키마라고 합니다. Hi everybody, it's Kima. I posted a picture on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, follow me on the gram. I post more often than I post here. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> and I will show you how to get this look featuring these bomb contacts. And by now, you should already know where they're from. Say it with me, <gasps> Pinky Paradise. They're just so affordable, they're so great. These are the Pinky Paradise Eurasia Boho Hazel Lenses. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> oh, these are monthly lenses. So on Pinky Paradise, there's yearly lenses and monthly lenses, and Pinky Paradise does prescription lenses. They show up kind of, on my eyes, blue, um, but they're supposed to be hazel. I don't think that there's very much enlarging qualities. I think they kind of like make a look like they made this. This is basic. I would hate to do a re review or say like the lenses are the bomb if they aren't like long wearing, if they like irritate my eyes, burning, all that stuff. But I have none of those problems. If you don't have money for those expensive ass lenses, get on to Pinky Paradise. They don't even, they don't pay me to say this. I just really love the company and I've loved them for a really long time. Without further ado, -bitty -do, -bitty do let's get into the look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna start with a bare, dry face. It's clean though. All of your contacts from Pinky Paradise come in that cute animal case and this is what they look like on my eyes, no enlarging or anything. I'm not gonna narrate everything that's happening, but I will narrate this. I hate when my face mask is like super cold, so I try to warm it up with my hands first, and this one's not my favorite mask. It's like a super thick, creamier serum, and I feel like it doesn't soak into the skin, but it's what I had on hand. What groups have you guys been into? That's what I need to know. I kind of like fell off of like the new trends in K-pop, like trending groups. Like y'all know I always care about BTS. I always care about J Park. But like, what about everybody else? What is everybody else doing? You know, what what groups are popping? Let me know in the comments below, please. I would, I would appreciate that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, wipe this in, put some moisturizer on and get to my base. So I try to make it soak into my skin, plot twist, it didn't. I had to use like napkin to like dab off the excess because it was so much and I didn't need moisturizer. On another note, not related to this video that's playing, how do you guys feel about the current state of K-pop? Like, I feel like because of BTS and like how global it's getting, it's, it's, we're seeing more social issues and like segregation arise between like international K-pop fans. It's really weird. <laughs> I guess it's because you assume that like if you're f if you're a fan of something and someone else says you'd be happy, but unfortunately, it seems like people are getting upset that K-pop is blowing up because it's no longer their personal thing. They don't feel unique or special anymore. I don't know. That's maybe a bad way to put it. I also just feel like you can't you can't expect these Korean groups to be 100% woke to social issues and I feel like a lot of the people that are like super angry about these things have never been to Korea so they really don't have an understanding. Unpopular opinion. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I just used a setting powder with a brush. I watch too much Pony uh, beauty makeup stuff. Uh, she uses this brush and I was like inspired and now I put my makeup on with a brush instead of a sponge. Who do I think I am you are? All right, so I used this light pink and this like plummy red to do my blush like right by my eye as if somebody like smacked me in the side of the face and I put it on my nose. And then I also used like a pink highlight color that was in this palette and highlight with it. Also helps with like the dewy rosy look. I don't like a super matte looking face. I kind of like a natural look. So then I take this like blunt rounded densely packed brush and I used that wet and wild pink pigment that was like two dollars at Walmart put it in the intercorner 
Huda Beauty. Put that in the intercorner. Make it sparkle, make it shine. Eyeliner, my favorite part. Make that cat eyed AF, okay? Just cat eye DF out of that. And then stab yourself in the lower eyelid with the point so that you can get those two cute dots. I mean, come on, come on. Mascara, we love. And that is it for the eyes. Hallelujah. I use this 3CE lipstick. I love it. They The lipsticks are too expensive, but I do love. And they are super long lasting. And that is it. That's the end. We've made it. This was a super easy look. Thanks for requesting it. <laughs> and I'm off. I had this lipstick on by 3CE. It's the color Chicful number 117, but I love this lip lacquer. It just gives me like a Halloween realness. You know what I mean? We really want to make a statement, okay? Get you this Strictly Vinyl Knit Lip Gloss in the color Nightwalker. And we're done. Super easy, super simple, super quick super super duper i'm not sure what i said in the voiceover probably some nonsense but you know what that's what we do here upload when we feel like it and speak on some nonsense if you like this video and you would like to see more videos from me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i thank you so much for watching bye